The geography of Switzerland encompasses the geographical features of Switzerland, a mountainous and landlocked country located in Western and Central Europe. It is surrounded by five countries, Austria and Liechtenstein to the east, France to the west, Italy to the south and Germany to the north. Switzerland has a maximum north-south length of 220 kilometers, 140 miles, and an east-west length of about 350 kilometers, 220 miles. Switzerland is well known for the Alps in the south and southeast. North of the Alps, the Swiss Plateau runs along the east-west axis of the country. Most of the population of Switzerland lives on the rolling hills and plains of the plateau. The smaller Jura Mountains are located on the north-west side of the plateau. Much of the northern border with Germany follows the Rhine, though the Rhine enters Switzerland near Schaffhausen. The eastern border with Germany and a portion of Austria is drawn through Lake Constance German, Boden sea. A portion of the southwest border with France is drawn through Lake Geneva. Switzerland is divided into 26 sovereign cantons. The cantons along the Swiss plateau tend to be the most populous, industrial and religiously Protestant. The cantons in the Alps tend to be less populous, Catholic, and have an agrarian or tourism based economy. Switzerland is also divided by language. There are four national languages German, spoken by 63.7% of population, French, by 20.4% of population, Italian, by 6.5%, and Romanche. From Bern East, except Ticino, the population generally speaks German. West of Bern, the population generally speaks French. In the southern canton of Ticino, most people speak Italian. Romanche, a group of dialects descended from Vulgar Latin, is spoken in several regions in the canton of Graubünden. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Physical description. Switzerland extends between the parallels 45 degrees 49 05 and 47 degrees 48 30 lat, and the meridians 5 degrees 57 23 and 10 degrees 29 31 long. It forms an irregular quadrilateral, of which the greatest length from east to west is 350 kilometers (220 miles), and the greatest breadth from north to south is nearly 220 kilometers (140 miles). Switzerland is a landlocked country, the closest coastline being at the Gulf of Genoa, 160 kilometers south of Chiasso. Its political boundaries often do not coincide with those of nature. The entire canton of Ticino is south of the Alps, as are the valleys of Simplon, Valais, Messico, Bregalia, Paschiavo, and Mustere, all in Graubünden. The whole canton of Schaffhausen and part of that of Basel are north of the Rhine, while a large part of Graubünden lies to the east of the Rhine basin, and Porentrui is far down on the western slope of the Jura. Putting these exceptional cases aside, the physical geography of Switzerland may thus be described. On the south runs the main chain of the Alps, which is joined at Mont Dolent near Martigny by the lower ranges that rise south of Lake Geneva, and which continues partly Swiss till close to Piz Lad on the east. To the north of this main chain there is another great range of mountains Holy Swiss only slightly inferior in extent and height, which starts from the hills known as the Jorat Range above Lausanne, reaches maximum in the great snowy summits of the Bernese Alps and the Todi Group. 
before trending to the north near Coor and, after rising once more in the Santis group, dies away on the southern shore of Lake Constance. The Swiss portion of the main chain of the Alps and the Great Northern Outlier run parallel to each other from Martigny to near Coeur, while for a short distance they actually unite near Pizzo Rotundo, west of the St. Gothard Pass, parting again near the Oberalp Pass, east of the St. Gothard. Between these two great snowclad ranges flow two of the mightiest European rivers, the Rhone towards the west and the Rhine towards the east, their headwaters being only separated by the tangled mountain mass between Pizzo Rotundo and the Oberalp Pass, which sends the Rus towards the north and the Ticino towards the south. To the north of the Great Northern Outlier rises the Jura Range, a huge spur of the Alps with which it is connected by the Jorat Range, while between the Northern Outlier and the Jura extends what may be called the Plains or Plateau of Switzerland, consisting almost wholly of the undulating valley of the Aare below Thun with its numerous affluents. To that river valley, the valley of the Tour, a direct affluent of the Rhine, that lies between the Aare Basin and the Rhine Basin, Lake Constance, must be added. Putting aside the valleys of the Ticino and Inn, Switzerland may thus be described as consisting of three great river valleys Rhone, Rhine and Aare with the smaller one of the Tour, which all lie to the north of the main chain of the Alps and include the region between the Alps and the Jura. If matters are examined more carefully, it can be noted that the Rhone and Rhine valleys are shut off from that of the Aare and of the Tour by the great northern outlier of the Alps, which consists of the Bernese and Glarus Alps. Two wide and undulating valleys Aare and, Tour, and two deeply cut trenches Rhone and Rhine, thus lie on the northern slope of the Alps, to the north and south respectively of the great northern outlier of the Alps. The main chain of the Alps rises in Swiss territory to the height of 4,634 metres 15,203 feet in the loftiest summit or Dufourspitz Holy Swiss of Monte Rosa, though the Dom 4,545 metres 14,911 feet, in the Mishabel Range, is the highest mountain mass which is entirely within Switzerland. The Great Northern Outlier attains a height of 4,274 metres 14,022 feet in the Finsterorhorn, while the lowest level 193 metres 633 feet within the Confederation, is on Lake Maggiore on the course of the Ticino. The highest permanently inhabited village in Switzerland is JUF 2126 meters, 6975 feet at the head of the Avers Valley, a tributary of the Rhine, while the lowest is Ascona, 196 meters, 643 feet on Lake Maggiore. Topic Geology Different geological phenomena shaped the actual landscapes of Switzerland. The Alpine orogeny had the most visible effects on the landscape, this term covers entire geological movements contributing to the of the Alps formation. A crystalline basement formed at the beginning of the Paleozoic era, between 540 and 360 millions years ago. Later, between 205 and 96 million years ago, the Alpine Ocean or Tethys Ocean formed between Eurasia and Africa. The ocean reached its maximum width at the end of Jurassic period, 135 million years ago. The collision between the Eurasian and African plates made it progressively disappear. 
This plate collision still in progress began 100 million years ago. The Alps resulted from this geological movement, the two plates creating folding zones. The central plateau is mainly composed of molasse, a sedimentary rock that formed at the bottom of the Tethys Ocean. Switzerland is situated in a relatively tectonically inactive area, although the city of Basel was completely destroyed in 1356 by an earthquake, the largest historical seismic event in Central Europe. The most seismically active regions are the Rhine Rift Valley region of Basel and the Valais. Topic: Physiographic divisions. Switzerland is divided in three main geographic regions: the Swiss Alps, the Central Plateau, and the Jura, each corresponding to very different geological realities. In addition, two small regions are not part of those three. The first, north of the Rhine in the Basel area, is situated beyond the Jura. The second, on the south in the Mendrisio area, is located in the Po Valley. But these two territories are not extensive in comparison to the total area of the country. The Swiss Alps occupy the southern part of Switzerland. They were formed by the thrust of the African plate, which also caused the formation of the Jura in the northeast and the plateau between the two massifs. In terms of area the Alps constitute about 60% of the country, the plateau 30% and the Jura 10%. The rugged terrain of the Jura and the Alps are very sparsely populated, except for some large valleys such as the Valais. Most of the population lives on the plateau where the country's major cities such as Geneva, Zurich and Bern are located. Topic: <laughs> Central Plateau. The Swiss Plateau extends from Lake Geneva on the French border across central Switzerland to Lake Constance on the German and Austrian borders. In the north and northwest, the Swiss Plateau is sharply delimited geographically and geologically by the Jura Mountains. In the south, there is no clear border with the Alps. Usually, the rising of the terrain to altitudes above 1,500 meters, which is very abrupt in certain places, is taken as a criterion for delimitation. The plateau has an average altitude of 580 meters (1,900 feet). Even though the Swiss plateau forms a basin, it is by no means a flat territory and it is covered with rolling hills, lakes and rivers. Most of Switzerland's large lakes are located in the plateau. Both Lake Geneva (581.3 square kilometers, 224.4 square miles) and Lake Constance (541.1 square kilometers, 208.9 square miles) are located in the plateau but are shared with other countries. The largest lake totally in Switzerland, Lake Nucatel, 218.3 square kilometers, 84.3 square miles, is located in the Swiss Plateau. The Swiss Plateau is crossed by three great river valleys, Rhone, Rhine and Aare, and the smaller Tour Valley. While the headwaters of these four rivers all lie in the Alps, they all cut across the plateau between the Alps and the Jura Mountains. Near Schaffhausen the Rhine passes through the Rhine Falls, Europe's largest waterfall. The Rhine Falls are 150 meters, 490 feet wide and 25 meters, 82 feet. 
the plateau occupies about one-third of the land area of Switzerland, and about two-thirds of the population live in this area. The population density on the plateau averages about 450 people per square kilometer, 1166 per square miles. In the regions around Lake Geneva, Lake Zurich and other cities, the population density exceeds 1000 people per square kilometer. As well as the majority of the population, the Swiss Plateau is also home to the majority of industry, manufacturing and farming in Switzerland. The farms are generally small and very organized. Most farms include small meadows alternating with fields with a variety of crops and small wooded areas. Topic. Alps The Swiss Alps form part of a chain of mountains that stretch across southern Europe and isolate northern Europe from the Mediterranean Sea. Several important passes through the Alps are located in Switzerland, and control of the passes has been important throughout Switzerland's history. The Alps have an average altitude of 1,700 meters (5,600 feet) and cover nearly two thirds of the total surface area. Within the Alps, there are 48 mountains that are 4,000 meters (13,000 feet) or higher. The Alps are the watershed of Western Europe. The Rhine, together with its tributaries the Aare and the Tour drain about two-thirds of the water into the North Sea. The Rhone and the Ticino drain about 18% of the water into the Mediterranean Sea. The Inn which flows into the Danube outside of Switzerland drains about 4.4% of the water into the Black Sea. The Swiss Alps also contain many of Central Europe's glaciers. There are about 1,800 glaciers which cover 1,200 square kilometers (460 square miles) of the total glaciated area of the Alps. The Alps are a popular tourist destination and are one of the most recognizable symbols of Switzerland. The tallest point in Switzerland, Monte Rosa, 4634 meters, 15203 feet in Canton Valais, is located in the Alps as its tallest mountain wholly in Switzerland. The Dom, 4545 meters, 14911 feet. One of the most recognizable symbols of Switzerland, the Matterhorn, is also located in the Alps. The Matterhorn, 4478 meters, 14692 feet, is the seventh highest peak in the Swiss Alps and is the most photographed mountain in Switzerland. The tallest mountain in the northern outlier or Bernese Alps is the Finsterhorn, 4274 meters, 14022 feet. Switzerland encompasses a significant portion of the south side of the Alps. Most of it is constituted by the canton of Ticino, almost reaching the plains of the Po and including Switzerland's lowest point on Lake Maggiore, 193 meters, 633 feet. The canton of Graubünden is also partially located on the south side of the Alps with the four valleys of Missox, Bregalia, Paschiavo and Mustere. Finally, the canton of Valais comprises the upper Daveria Valley, located south of the Simplon Pass. Jura The Jura is a limestone mountain range running from Lake Geneva to the Rhine River. This area makes up about 12% of Switzerland's land area. 
located about 700 meters (2300 feet) above sea level. This region is characterized by a limestone highland with deep river valleys. The limestone rock in the Jura is a Jurassic period rock with numerous fossils and dinosaur tracks. The name Jurassic actually refers to the Jura region where these fossils were studied at the end of the 18th century. The Jura is considered one of the most important sites for dinosaur footprints in the world. In one area near the village of Cordidu, over 13,000 footprints were discovered in between 2002 and 2011. The range is being continually built up and decreasing in width by mountain building, accommodating the compression from alpine folding as the main alpine orogenic front moves roughly northwards. The deformation becomes less pervasive away from the younger, more active alpine mountain building. Structurally, the Jura consists of a sequence of folds, the formation of which is facilitated by an evaporitic decolumon layer. The box folds are still relatively young, evidenced by their defining the shape of the overlying landscape, meaning they have not existed long enough to experience erosion. The folds comprise three major lithological units bands of building evidence dated roughly by era, the Mom, Dogger, and Leas part of the Jurassic geologic period. Each era of folding represents effects on a previously shallow marine environment as evidenced by beds with particular carbonate sequences, containing abundant bioclasts and oolitic divisions between layers called horizons. The Jura Mountains rise in Swiss territory to a height of 1,679 metres 5 feet at Mont Tendre. Other high summits are La Dole 1,677 metres 5,502 feet, the Chasserin 1,607 metres 5,272 feet and the Chasserol 1,607 metres 5,272 feet, all located in the western part of the range, in the cantons of Vaud, Nucatel and Bern. Topic. Hydrology Switzerland has 6% of all freshwater reserves in Europe. The country shares five river basins and some of the largest lakes in Western Europe with its neighbours. It is the source of several major European rivers that ultimately flow into the North Sea Rhine, into the Mediterranean Sea Rhone, into the Black Sea Inn, through the Danube and into the Adriatic Sea Ticino, through the Po and Rom through the Adige. Most of the great Swiss rivers, being in their origin mere mountain torrents, tend to overflow their banks. Much has been done to prevent this by embanking them, regaining arable land, the Rhine between Bad Ragas and Lake Constance, the Rhone, the Aare, the Rus and in particular the great works on the Linth carried out 1807–1810 by Hans Conrad Escher, earning him the surname of «Von der Linth» and the Zihl near the lakes of Nucatel and Beale, while the diversion of the Cander from its junction with the Aare to a channel by which it flows into Lake Thun was effected as early as 1714. Switzerland has considerable reserves of groundwater and a large number of lakes, large and small, can be found in most areas. The two most extensive, those of Geneva and of Constance, balance each other, as it were, at the southwest and northeast corners of the land. 
but neither of these is wholly Swiss, this distinction being claimed by the next in size, that of Nucatel, Lake Maggiore, partly Swiss only coming next in the list, and being followed by the wholly Swiss lakes of Lucerne and of Zurich. Then come Lake Lugano, Lake Thun, Lake Beale, Lake Zug, Lake Briens, Lake Wallenstadt and Lake Merton. These 13 only are over 20 square kilometers, 7.7 square miles in extent. 10 of them are in the Rhine basin, also in that of the AARE, 2 Maggiore and Lugano in that of the Po, and 1 Geneva in that of the Rhone. There are no large lakes in the Swiss portion of the Inn Basin, the most extensive being that of Sills. Smaller alpine lakes such as the Eschenen Sea are innumerable, and often constitute popular tourist destination. Since the 20th century a large number of dams have been built in the Alps and elsewhere, resulting in many artificial lakes. The largest are the Sill Sea and the Lake of Gruyere, both approximately 10 square kilometers, 3.9 square miles in extent. Also notable is Lac des Dix, withheld by the Grande Dixence, the tallest gravity dam in the world. In total, lakes and reservoirs contain 50% of the stored water, glaciers 28%, groundwater 20% and rivers 2%. Topic: Climate. In Switzerland, where the elevation above sea level ranges from 193 to 4634 meters, 633 to 15203 feet, many climates are naturally found, from the regions of olives, vines, oaks and beeches, pines and firs to those of the high mountain pastures, rhododendrons and of eternal snow. In most inhabited regions of Switzerland, at lower altitudes, the weather is generally moderate. On the plateau, freezing temperatures generally occur during December-early March with an average temperature of 9 degrees Celsius .2 degrees Fahrenheit for elevations between 500 to 600 meters 1640 to 1969 feet. On the plateau the average precipitation is 1,000 mm with a range of about 800 to 1,300 mm to in. The higher elevations of the Jura and the Alps naturally cause lower temperatures and in the high Alps glaciers exist. The Jura and foothills both north and south of the Alps typically have more precipitation, with an average of 1,200 to 1,600 mm to in, while the High Alps may have over 2,500 mm in. Ticino, on the south side of the Alps, has subtropical vegetation, is usually 2 to 4 degrees Celsius, 3.6 to 7.2 degrees Fahrenheit warmer, and OS wetter than the Swiss Plateau. In the Köppen climate classification, the Swiss Plateau is classed as maritime temperate or oceanic climate (CFB), and the Alps are considered tundra climates or ET. A maritime temperate area will have changeable, often overcast weather. Summers are cool due to cloud cover and winters are milder than expected due to latitude. The Jura will be slightly cooler due to higher altitude. Within the Alps, temperatures and snow fall correlate to altitude. <laughs> Political divisions and greater regions 
As a federal state, Switzerland is composed of 26 cantons, which are further divided into districts and municipalities. Each canton was a fully sovereign state with its own borders, army and currency from the Treaty of Westphalia 1648 until the establishment of the Swiss federal state in 1848. There are considerable differences between the individual cantons, most particularly in terms of population and geographical area, hence seven larger and more homogeneous regions have been defined. They do not, however, constitute administrative units and are mostly used for statistical and economic purposes. Topic. Land use The Swiss territory is divided into four major types of land use. As of 2001, 36.9% of the land in Switzerland was used for farming. 30.8% of the country is covered with forests and woodlands, with an additional 6.8% covered with houses or buildings. About one-fourth of the country is either mountains, lakes or rivers and is categorized as unproductive. Surfaces of housing and infrastructure The habitat is mainly developed in the Swiss Plateau and the northern slopes of the Alps, near lakes and along major rivers. It occupies 14.6% of the plateau, the Jura 7.4%, the Southern 4.3%, and the Northern Alps 4%, and finally the Western Central Alps 2.9% and Eastern Alps 1.6%. Habitat areas and infrastructure grow around the urban areas but also in the countryside, at the expense of agricultural land. This growth called suburbanization, is particularly pronounced along the main transport routes such as motorways and railways. New roads lead to a significant increase in construction activity in the affected regions. Many people who work in the city prefer to live in the countryside to take advantage of cheaper land and better quality of life. This is also reflected in the construction statistics. Single family homes arise mainly in rural areas, multi family homes in the cities. Household structures are also evolving and tend to become smaller. In 12 years, the area devoted to housing increased by 25% while the increase of the population was only 9%. == Farmland Although it is declining, agriculture represents the most important use of the territory in Switzerland. Farmlands dominates the plateau, occupying just over half of the area. The situation is similar in the Jura 44%, on the northern slopes of the Alps 38.2% and in the eastern Central Alps, 31.4%. In the mountainous regions of the western Central Alps Valais, and in the south, the agricultural areas mostly pastures, are proportionately lower. In 1993 it was estimated that 250 square kilometers 97 square miles or about 0.6% of the entire country was irrigated meaning that most Swiss farms receive enough rainfall to grow. The protection of forested areas led to numerous conflicts of interests around the farmland, especially on the plateau and near urban areas where the habitat area development and infrastructure tend to reduce the amount of arable land. 
Conversely, the number of farms in the mountains tend to decrease, many areas are left for the benefit of woodlands to the detriment of landscape diversity. This decline is particularly marked in Valais and Ticino. Forests Forests cover less than a third of the territory, but the area is increasing year by year. The reforestation is essentially natural, mainly in the Alps where the forest areas reoccupy those abandoned by farmers. Afforestation contributes 13% to reforestation, and is conducted for compensation following a clearance or to provide protection against natural hazards in the mountainous areas avalanches, landslides. Forests are more predominant in the Jura and in the Southern Alps, occupying respectively 47.7% and 47.2% of the soil in these regions. On the northern slopes of the Alps, alpine forests occupy 33.2% and on the plateau 24.6%. It is in the Central Alps that forest areas occupy less floor with about 22% coverage. Switzerland is home to mixed maple ash forests of fertile and deep earth that collects at the base of slopes. They replace the moist oak hornbeam forests in areas with higher rainfall. This type of forest has been called one of the most productive in Switzerland", and the tree growth has been described as aggressive. It takes one-third of the time for trees to reach the same height as it would in a mole beech forest and within 100 years trees in maple ash forests can reach a height of 35 meters, though the quality of wood will not be as high. The rich undergrowth of these forests is dominated by the Allium ursinum wild garlic common throughout Western Europe. <inaudible> <inaudible> unproductive areas The unproductive areas correspond to all areas occupied by rocks, boulders, ice, snow fields and unproductive vegetation beyond the limits of forests. Lakes, rivers and wetlands are also unproductive areas. Occupying 25.5% of Swiss soil, these surfaces are in very slight decline minus 0.1% over 10 years. They are predominant in the Central Alps half of the soil, on the contrary they only cover 10% of the surface of the plateau and 1% of the Swiss Jura. The uncultivated mountain areas are exploited by the tourism and the production of hydroelectricity. Climatic conditions strongly affect the landscape of these areas, water seepage, landslides, avalanches, torrents in spate. Man intervenes on 0.2% of this surface area to create infrastructure protecting against floods or avalanches. The channels of communication, with many works of art occupy a portion of these surfaces. In the plains, lakes and streams near areas of habitat are used for recreation and relaxation. Habitats, damp or dry, and nature reserves are managed and these areas contribute to maintain biodiversity. Topic. Population The population of Switzerland is heavily urbanized. In 2009, 74% of the 7,785,800 inhabitants lived in urban areas. 
the distribution of population is shaped by the topography of the country, the plateau being the most populous area and including the major cities of Switzerland. With a population density of 450 inhabitants per square kilometre, it is one of the most densely populated region in Europe. There are large disparities of population densities between the cantons lying in the plateau and those lying in the Alps. Thus, the population densities of the cantons of Lucerne, Solothurn and Zurich are respectively 261.0, 319.7 and 813.6 inhabitants per square kilometre. On the other hand, the cantons of Uri and Graubünden have very low population densities, respectively 33.4 and 27.0 inhabitants per square kilometre. In the Southern Alps, the canton of Ticino also has a population density less than the national average, with 122.5 inhabitants per square kilometre against 194.7. Environment With the delicate alpine and glacial environments making up a significant portion of the country and providing a major industry, Switzerland has been concerned with environmental issues. Some of the main issues are listed below. <laughs> Air The main environmental issues in Switzerland's air is air pollution from vehicle emissions and open air burning as well as acid rain. In 2004, the average amount of carbon dioxide CO2 emissions per resident was 6 tons, 6.6 short tons, 5.9 long tons, and in 2005 was 6.2 tons, 6.8 short tons, 6.1 long tons. With these numbers, Switzerland is 31st to 33rd among the 45 nations listed by United Nations Millennium Development Goals Indicators as developed nations and 69th worldwide. Switzerland expects by 2010 to reduce their total greenhouse gas emissions by 8% to 10% over emissions in 1990. The population as of 2005 uses 3.76 tons of oil equivalent per person per year, of which 43.7% comes from petroleum and 19% from nuclear power. Topic. Water The major water issue in Switzerland is water pollution from the increased use of agricultural fertilizers as well as hydrocarbon pollution from transport and industry. While improvements have been made, there are still issues with eutrophication an increase in nitrogen and phosphates in many lakes in the Swiss Plateau. The total renewable water resources of Switzerland, as of 2005, totals 53.3 cubic kilometers, 1.17 times 1013 imp gal, 1.41 times 1013 US gal, of which the total freshwater withdrawal is 2.5 cubic kilometers, 5.5 times 1011 imp gal, 6.6 times 1011 US gal per year. This breaks down to a per capita freshwater withdrawal of 348 cubic meters, 77,000 imp gal, 92,000 US gal per year. Of that water, as of 2002, 24% is used in households, 74% in industry and only 2% is used for agriculture. Topic. 
Biodiversity Switzerland is facing a loss of biodiversity. While the country is quite small, the wide range of climates allow a variety of organisms to flourish. There are about 50,000 animal and plant species living in Switzerland. While most species that live on north and south foothills of the Alps are generally doing well, the Swiss Plateau is seeing a decrease in many species. The pressure from city and agricultural growth is reducing or eliminating the habitat of many species that once flourished along the plateau. There are about 60 species that are considered endangered that live in Switzerland. To help offset this, 28.6% of the country is set aside as a protected natural area. In 2001, the Federal Office for the Environment FOEN launched a nationwide program to systematically monitor biodiversity Biodiversity Monitoring Switzerland. International agreements Party to Air pollution Air pollution nitrogen oxides Air pollution sulfur 85, air pollution sulfur 94 Air pollution volatile organic compounds Air pollution persistent organic pollutants Antarctic Treaty Biodiversity Climate change Desertification Endangered species Environmental modification Hazardous wastes Marine dumping Marine life conservation Nuclear test ban Ozone layer protection Ship pollution Tropical timber 83 Tropical timber 94 Wetlands Whaling signed, but not ratified Antarctic Environmental Protocol Climate Change Kyoto Protocol Law of the Sea Topic. Area and boundaries The borders of Switzerland were established by the original formation of the Helvetic Republic in 1798, the accession thereto of Valais and Grisons, and the incorporation of various remaining feudal territories such as the County of Nucatel, Prince Bishopric of Basel, Abbey of St. Gall, etc. The cantons largely had their current borders since 1815 at accession of Valais, Nucatel and Geneva, except for the notable change from secession of Jura from Bern in 1979. The total length of the border is 1,899 kilometers. Enclosing an area of 41,290 square kilometers, 15,940 square miles. Land 39,770 square kilometers, 15,360 square miles. Water 1,520 square kilometers, 590 square miles. Elevation extremes lowest point lake majore 193 meters 633 feet highest point monte rosa 4634 meters 15203 feet deepest point in lake majore minus 79 meters minus 259 feet See also, Extreme Points of Switzerland Topic. Western or Central Europe 
no subdivision of Europe is universally accepted, therefore naming the different European regions and defining the borders between them is subject to debates. Depending on the definition chosen, Switzerland can be either part of Western or Central Europe. Both concepts depend heavily on context and carry cultural, economic, and political connotations. The term Western Europe commonly indicates the region west of the Baltic and Adriatic Sea. Countries described as Western European, including Switzerland, according to the United Nations Statistics Division and the National Geographic Society, are invariably high-income developed countries, characterized by stable democratic political systems, mixed economies combining the free market with aspects of the welfare state. On the other hand, the term Central Europe refers to the region between Western and Eastern Europe. Central European countries including Switzerland in the westernmost part, according to the World Factbook and various encyclopedias such as Britannica and Columbia show high disparities with regard to income but possibly share similar cultural characteristics. The concept came back into use by the end of the Cold War, which had divided Europe politically into the Western world and the East Bloc, splitting Central Europe in half. Before World War I, the German-speaking world used the somewhat related term Mitteleuropa from German, Middle Europe for an area larger than most conceptions of Central Europe, notably encompassing Switzerland among the other German-speaking countries. Physically, Switzerland is situated approximately in the middle of the portion of Europe west of the Carpathian Mountains. Defining the Ural Mountains as the eastern limit of the continent, Switzerland is located within the western third of Europe, approximately 15 degrees of longitude away from the extreme west and 50 degrees away from extreme east. Phytogeographically, the part of Switzerland that lies north of the Alps belongs to Central Europe, while the part south of the Alps belongs to Southern Europe. Topic. Natural World Heritage Sites Topic. Topography Topic. See also Geography of the Alps Swiss cartography Valleys of the Alps Little Switzerland landscape Swiss Federal Office of Topography Topic Notes and References equals 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 notes <laughs>